Hello everyone and welcome to the Assassin's Creed Mirage trailer breakdown. I'm Yusuf Magid and I'm joined by creative director Stefan Boudon, narrative director Sarah Bolio, and art director Jean-Luc Sala who are going to explain some of the details we saw in this brand new trailer. I am. Now, Sarah, I want to pause right here because we get our first look at Basim. We get a first look at young Basim. Why did you want to go back and tell this origin story? How how old is he here? How many years before the Basim we know in Valhalla is this? So we are 20 years before Valhalla, around 20 years. Basim is around 70 years old on the trailer here. It's actually the beginning of the game. He's going to be around 17. We chose actually Basim and we wanted to tell his origin story because as you know, maybe from Valhalla, uh, he's a very charismatic character already. And there was basically a blank page between the moment when actually Basim was raised in Samara by his father and the moment when we meet him in Valhalla. He is also someone that is going to become an assassin and it was logical for us as we wanted to go back to the roots to actually showcase and, and let the player experience this coming of age and this whole becoming an assassin topic. We are working with an actor called uh, Limash Du, who is voicing Basim and just like Shore, we're very happy to have him on board. He's, he's a great, great actor. Ready to sacrifice everything you held close. I am. So we are very lucky to, to have a composer, so Brendan Angelides, who is working on the soundtrack of the game, who also actually did the soundtrack for the trailer. The, the music that you hear in the trailer is actually uh, in line with the guidelines and the music from uh, the game itself. The composer, Brendan, actually used some, um, some instruments that are very authentic, that are really conveying this Arabic atmosphere and vibe that we, we, we wanted and that we, want, we were very uh, um, eager to, to respect as much as possible. Are you ready to leave your life behind? So this is Russian. Russian is one of our key characters. She's Basim's mentor. She's going to be here right from the beginning of the game until the end. And we have the great pleasure to be working with a great actress. Russian is going to be voiced by Shori Agdashlu, who is a, an Emmy award-winning actress, and we are very happy to have her on board. So Russian is a woman of 50, a really skilled hidden one. She's going to be key to Basim's evolution as a character. Also a lot of charisma there. And walk the path of shadows. I am. Basim has a lot of potential for becoming a, a hidden one. He's a gifted young thief first. And also he, he shares with them the same uh, ideology of uh, freedom and uh, free will. Basim bears also a unique legacy as well and, and Roshan will notice it obviously. So that's why for all those uh, elements it will be a very key asset for the hidden ones. Then out of the dark you will come into the light. This is not massive but uh, it's, it's a tribute to uh, AC1 and also to the lore of Assassins because uh, in the lore, the birthplace is Alamut, a fortress in the northern mountains of Iran. And this is it. This is the first time we are going to show in an AC game, the Citadel of Alamut. We are at this moment at the tipping point of uh, Hidden Ones and the Assassin's Brotherhood, which is going to be uh, there in Alamut in uh, 100 years. It's going to take a long time to finish this fortress, but this is the very beginning of the end of the Hidden Ones. This is a, a love letter to AC1. I think everybody got it seeing this trailer. We saw Roshan, we see Basim. They wear the Levantine white outfit with a little touch of, uh, you know, Arabic uh, style, just like the Shemag and the Pompon. This is definitely going to be uh, his role here, his uh, coming of age of an assassin. So, yeah, he's really looking like one. 
and I, I just want to I just want to make a note right now to all the viewers watching. Make note of this pose right here that Roshan gets oh, yes. passing in, because uh, we, we just yes, might yes. see it again. Yeah, during his training, Basin can be impetuous, but uh, which can lead him to learn the lesson the hard way, you know. And from the light, you will return to the dark. The ceremony moment uh, was discussed pretty early. Also, Alamut was discussed pretty early in the conception phase. It was something that we wanted to showcase because it's so so important in the in the Assassin's Creed lore. It's a whole ceremony that you have to think about how it's going to happen, what people are going to say, and it, it's uh, it's actually a pretty powerful uh, thing to work on. Honestly, and it was also great to deep dive inside all the material the past uh, AC games brings us. So I, I'm not gonna lie, it was a challenge for us, of course, because we have a ton of material. At the end, it was very satisfying uh, working with Sarah, Jean-Luc, to see all the connections we succeeded to make inside Assassin's Creed Mirage. Yeah, and if I may add, we uh, we reversed engineered Basim because uh, Basim and Valhalla has a cut finger. So we needed to explain why his finger was cut. So we know it's a typical feature uh, of the uh, uh, early assassins. Yeah, I think it, it, it's part of the process. We, we break down the Basim of Valhalla, the look of him, and try to see what is the kind of uh, uh, visual tags, costume parts he can have early on and try to explain uh, why this or that uh, is uh, still there in Valhalla. But also our, our story is uh, uh, has a beginning and an end and, and it's key to us to, to make it accessible to, to every player, not only the players that actually know the franchise very well, but also the newcomers, for example. It's both a love letter, but also a narrative-driven game that is uh, really focused on, on a character and how he evolves. You have sworn to uphold. This is Baghdad. You know, the usual question is when the next Assassin's or where the next Assassin's Creed game is going to happen. And uh, now you know, so this is going to be Baghdad. You can only see one district here, which is the Kark district, uh, the, the district of the bazaar. But you can have also a view uh, on the background of the uh, Caliphal Palace, which is uh, the very center, the earth of uh, the empire and also the earth of the city. It's called the round city because there is a round fortification all around and uh, inside that fortification you do have the highest peak of civilization. Outside it's more the regular city with different districts, one dedicated to science, one dedicated to trading, one dedicated to industry, one dedicated to uh, almost military defense, uh, which is Sharkey, it's a sub-district. This is, uh, yeah, you know, perfect playground bringing good old vibes from previous uh, AC games. We are back in Middle East, we are back in this kind of, you know, light density, the vivid colors. I think this is also something we love. We know AC1 and we are happy to come back to places in Middle East, but also this is going to, to be a complete surprise to see how much uh, that city was big, as you can see, a lot of opportunities for parkour and a lot of promises of adventure. You cannot have the peak of civilization without having, uh, you know, war, injustice and, and such. Yeah, for me, this is a perfect playground for, you know, doing assassin stuff. Yeah, we spend a lot of energy to uh, bring back crowds. This is a really, really breathing, living city, a city that never sleeps also, so you will see that. And we also try to bring as many people as we can on the streets. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. The Smokebong are back and a lot of Assassin's tools you will be able to use uh, at your advantage on a very specific situation. So we have a three knife, blow dart, a mine, also noisemaker, and all those tools will be fully upgradable and you will be able to change their effect or their behaviors uh, during your playthrough. <laughs> Be 
able to control your uh, eagle. His name uh, is uh, Enkidu. We will bring back also, and I'm very pleased to announce that, the possibility of uh, marking uh, the enemies with your uh, eagle, as it's, it is very important for us to give strong record tools to the player to perform the, the best stealth approach. From this day forward, you are a hidden one. So uh, the creation of the Assassin uh, Brotherhood will happen a bit later during the 10th century uh, with the reformation of the Hidden One by Hassan uh, Isaba. Uh, but we are very, very close of this transformation in, uh, in Assassin's Creed Mirage and you can already see it, feel it in the game. And I, I love the, the shot of Bassam on the perch dropping down. It's very reminiscent of you know the AC2 trailer. There's a ton of callbacks and throwbacks in this, and I, I, I love it. Oh, first, this is a mask of the uh, Order of the Ancient, so a kind of you know artifact we are used to now since AC Origin and uh, Odyssey. Uh, we do have it in Mirage too. This mask is uh, connected to the past of this land. We are in Baghdad and the civilization just before is the Babylonian one. So that's why he has this kind of uh, Babylonian face. And uh, honestly, this is not the only mask you are going to see. All the masks created for the game are just gorgeous. This specific cell of the Order of the Ancient is, uh, is one of the last uh, remaining cells, as it will soon start its transformation also to a new organization, exactly uh, like the Aiden ones, in fact. So, Sarah, here we see Bassem perform the same move that Roshan performed on him, and this is something we've seen throughout the trailer. He, he fails at one point, and then he learns and he grows. Um, are we going to get to see Bassem evolve throughout the game? Yes, sure. As you saw at the beginning of the trailer, uh, Bassem starts from being a street thief to a master assassin. He's going to be able to perform um, moves that he was not able to perform at the beginning of the game. We're going to really see this evolution and, and the player is actually going to be able to experience this very deeply through all the game. We are a homage, tribute to a first Assassin's game, and we wanted to, to be really, really close to the original Levantine Assassin's Crest. Actually, there is something written on it. It's the Arabic phrase for hidden one. Uh, so it has a lot of sense in the game uh, to have this kind of hidden message in a game about the hidden ones. It has been made by a very wonderful artist, Atema Rafa, is a very, very well-known and skilled calligraphic artist. He also worked on something you will discover while playing the game, which is our skill tree, and it will feature some wonderful piece of Arabic calligraphy on the, on the UI. You know, every Assassin's Creed game is trying to make a kind of, you know, magic trick with, uh, with the crest. Uh, I'm really happy about what we've done with ours. This creature that you see here, which is a gene, this creature is going to be an important part of Bassin's evolution and it's going to be present in, in every memory corridors, um, as we call them, so that moment when Bassin kills a target. It has its secret, it has its meaning, and yes, I'm not going to say much more, but you're going to discover that in the storyline. Oh, well, that's the perfect tease. Sarah, thank you so much. Uh, I can't wait to find out more. And for everyone watching, you'll be able to find out more when Assassin's Creed Mirage launches later in 2023.